Mary Padian has accomplished a great deal in the years following her introduction to the world on the 2012 season of the Store Tours spin-off show Store Tours Texas. She began her career as a typical shop proprietor and eventually became a well-known television personality and household celebrity. Her fans adored her effervescent demeanor, as well as her ability to lighten the mood during some of the show's more intense moments. Fans haven't seen much of this treasure hunter, even though he has been a regular on the show for the past eight seasons. So what exactly took place with Mary Padian? Is she no longer on the show? What does she spend her time doing these days? Let's find out, shall we? In Texas, where Mary Padian was born and raised, the beginnings of her lifelong passion for buried treasure digging may be traced back to her childhood. Her father was the owner of a company that specialized in the collection of scrap metal, which was then melted down and sent back overseas for reuse. Because of this, Hadian developed an interest in treasure hunting, and when the opportunity to do so presented itself, she seized it with both hands and made the decision to carry on the family business. She didn't directly imitate her father's business strategy. Rather, she took the concept of upcycling and transformed it into something that was more in line with her interests. This is her legacy. After she received her degree, she decided to focus her career on the secondhand shopping market. To go further in her job as a thrift shopper, Mary Pavian established her antique shop, which she dubbed Mary's Finds. She grew the company by purchasing previously owned furniture, giving it a fresh new look through upcycling, and then selling it to interior designers for a substantial profit. Mary had no idea that something much better was on the horizon for her, even though the business seemed to have some potential. In 2012, Mary was approached by one of the captivated lions and allowed to participate in the Storage Wars spin-off show, Storage Wars Texas. Hadian found it difficult to decline the offer, so she seized the opportunity, which opened the door for her to work in reality television. Mary continued to shine in starring roles throughout seasons two and three of the series, becoming one of the show's most memorable characters in the process. Because her followers adored her so much, she was given the nickname The Junker because of her ability to make even unappealing things look desirable. She became a regular on the show very quickly, and everyone enjoyed the comedic addition that she, in addition to her disputes and controversies, provided to the proceedings. She quickly established herself as a crucial part of the show because the audience loved her upbeat demeanor and fantastic character. Storage Wars Texas did not have a long run and was finally discontinued in 2014 after only two years on the air. Although her television fame could be the primary factor in her company's success, it was her talent and the reputation that she created with her followers during her TV days that needed more credit. And with a revival of Storage Wars, fans hoped that Mary would make a comeback to the show. Although her television fame could be the main factor in her business success, it was her talent and the reputation that she built with her fans during her TV days that needed more credit. It would appear that she does not have a recurring role on the show, which is very disappointing. She did make a cameo appearance in the pilot episode of season 13, but she did not appear in any of the subsequent episodes of the season. It is highly unlikely that Mary Padian will compete on Storage Wars again in the future, and it appears that she is currently concentrating her efforts on establishing her brand and expanding Mary's finds. Mary Padian is a prosperous businesswoman who is estimated to have a net worth of close to $150,000 at this time. It is safe to say that viewers of Storage Wars would never get the chance to observe Mary Padian's business if the show went on without any interruptions of any kind. The 41-year-old woman known as Acumen is one of the most successful female thrifters in the world today, and she owes all of her success to the fact that she made the most of the opportunities that presented themselves to her along the way. But I'm interested in hearing your ideas. Do you believe Mary Padian will ever come back for another season of Storage Wars? Leave a comment below and let us know. We hope that watching this film was enjoyable for you. If you did, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel. To receive the most recent notifications and changes, make sure the bell is on. We'll see you in the next one, and we want to say thank you for watching.